Good day viewers, welcome to Cybertech Karina. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your own private mail server. No domain needed, um, no VPS server needed. All right, so, but after the video, if you want me to walk you through the technique to do the same thing on the VPS uh, server, you can put down in the comment section below. So. First thing first, you go to hmailserver.com and you download the latest version. I already have it downloaded because of time. Okay, then um, you run the installation. So here's my download. So I'll just, uh, you double click it to run the installation. You just double click it. You just click on next. When you get to here, I accept the agreement, next next uh, next so here it's going to ask you use built-in database engine uh, using external so i'll be using external um, um, database engine so next so uh next also so it's going to ask you to create a password so i'll just use something simple for the demonstration of this video one two three four five six one two three four five six so but if you're doing this in your work environment or you're doing it in a professional settings you need to put a more secure password so i'll click on next so i'll just click on install all right so when you get to this part uh, it's going to ask you to enter the password the one you just choose so i'll just enter the one i choose one two three four five six so you go to next so it's going to ask you create a new hmail database select a new hmail default so i'll just create a new one so i'll just next so uh here um select the database service type so i'll be choosing my sql my sql so uh here uh what you're going to do in database uh, database server address you just put a local host then leave the port as default uh, in database name you can put anything i'll just put a uh, hmail okay um so the username i'll just put so uh, root you can put root so let's leave the password empty for now you click on next so when you get to this uh page the service page you keep it blank just go to next and when you click on next you're going to get this error message uh, this error message is uh hmail server slash bin slash leave my secure.dll so here's what to do you can just copy this thing and i already have it downloaded but i want to show you how to get yours you just go to google and you paste it here and it's going to show you where to download yours but uh here like you can see look at the one i use which is the same as this one so i just go here and scroll down and check your architecture and you download the one that is uh that is compatible with your os okay so you can just click there so like mine you can see uh, when you get to the dll When you get to the dll-files.com slash libmysecure.dll.html so you just scroll down so um, you have the architecture the 32 bit and the 64 bit so i downloaded this one so there's something i also want to note like most people who do these experience issues the reason is because um the the my sql version they use is either too uh too updated so i use the my sql uh, what version i use because i use some versions that had issues 
So I tested this for a while. So the one that worked for me was uh, my SQL installer dash community 5.5.34. So you just get the Windows installer version of it. So after your download, there's something we need to do for this error message to go out. All right, so let's go to the download. Look at the file here. So you extract it with 7-zip. If you have 7-zip, uh, let's... So 7-zip, I'm going to extract files here. So extract. So my file is extracted. Uh, when you click open, you're going to see this file here. So we need to move this to the. We need to move this to the bin folder of H uh, mail. So you just click on your local disk drive and program files. So this is the HMU server. So this is the bin folder. So you paste it here or you move it, whichever one that works for you. So it's moved, as you can see, so. Let's go back to our installation and see if it's fixed the problem. Access denied for root user at local client. Okay, so uh, it already fixed the problem. So here, what you're going to do is just go back, go back and for your root user, just put your password. Mine is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the problem is fixed, going to be fixed. So as you can see, uh, the server is starting. We close. So uh, we need to get an email client to test up what we have really done. We need to download Thunderbird. So uh, those on my membership, I'll be dropping all these uh, link so you don't have to worry uh, how to get it. So we need two email clients to download. The first one is Thunderbird and the second one is EMC client. So in Thunderbird, you just go to, you just download, okay? You download the version that works best for you. This is Thunderbird website. You click on download, all right? So I already downloaded it also because of time. So it's the same thing for EMC client. You just download for free. So let's run the installation setup together. Let me start with Thunderbird first. So here in download, this is my Thunderbird download. So you right double click. So uh, here, as you can see, it's just the run the installation next. Mm, we use the standard, okay. Next, next. So here uh, you go to finish. Then same thing we did, uh, let's go to the EMS uh, client that we downloaded also. So this is my own download. So you just click on next. The same thing we did in Mozilla. Just you agree, you install. So I think our Thunderbird is done installing. So and the EMS is done installing. So. So we need to set up our domain. So uh, this video is for educational purpose. You don't need to have a domain. So here, uh, localhost admin. So I uh, just, uh, let me see what's there. Localhost 
Okay, it's okay. So if you don't have that, just local host admin. So you connect. So you put your HTML uh, password. Mine is one two three four five six. So when you get to this page, it's going to ask you to add a domain. So just choose any domain of your choice. So let's say this is for testing purpose, and I'm doing this in my local host. So uh, example dot com. So you can use any domain of your choice. So I just click on save. So here uh, we go to accounts. We need to create two account to test it. So I go to add. So uh, here uh, I'll just use a uh, user one. Then I'll put the password for that user one, two, three, four, five, six. You can choose any password, but I'm just making the whole thing for simplicity purpose. So we need another user. We we'll click on this here, uh, the account. So we add another user. We add the uh, user two. So this thing I'm doing is just like two people uh, sending email. All right. So uh, here I will just use the same password. You can use any password of your choice. Then I will save it. So when we're done creating the two users, as you can see, uh, we have uh, two users here. So let's go to, let's log in each of the users to the email client. So I have my Thunderbird here. So uh, you just go to the e account setup. So our first email was, uh, what's that again? User1 at example.com. User1 at example dot com no it's supposed to be our first user is user one okay so the email is uh, user one at example dot com then um, I'll just put the let's say configure manually here so here this here example.com you change the host name for the incoming server to local hosts so you scroll down also to the outgoing server you change it to local hosts so when you do that you run retest so when you're done with the installation you get to this welcome page of the em client so we need to create an account so you click on that uh, the menu go to account so you need to put the email you created go to others next so here you put the email you created i created the uh, user one and user two so we put our we put our user one here so user one at example.com next so incoming server i map and then incoming server here you just type the local host so put your password the one you choose earlier on so next you tick there outgoing server doesn't require authentication so next so if everything is correct, it's going to show you okay like this. So we, after then we're going to go to next. So if everything is working properly, it's going to show you like this. So next. So here we just change it to user one. Next. So here I will continue without encryption. I don't want encryption, so next.
So, as you can see, this is our inbox. Okay. Everything works correct. So, this is our inbox. So, we need to set up the other part. So, I already showed you how to set up the first uh, interface you meet in Thunderbird. So, this is another method also to put your details. So, when you go to user, you go to user, user 2, then your email account. So, since we already put user 1 in the EM client, so we're putting the user 2 here. So, if you get this error message, you just need to put a local host here. then uh, you test it as you can see everything is working correctly so all you just needed was in the smtp you put local host then here in the connect connection security you go put none okay then in the password you click on you click on it you see a drop down it's going you choose the normal password that's the one that is going to work so uh, you can run a text email also. As you can see, everything is working fine. So just put your password and continue. So I don't need any of these things. I'll just cancel here. So I want to send an email from the EM client to the Thunderbird, which is like sending email from your own to someone else. So I'll go to new. So I'll just put the email I want to send it to. So since I'm sending from user one, I'll be writing to user two at example.com. So whatever domain you are using, it's going to work. You do not need a domain to test out this. So you put your subject. I just put hello world, and I just write anything. So I'll send, and we check in the Thunderbird to see if we receive the email. So in the inbox, as you can see, the email is received it's here so i'll reply back so let me see if it's working also uh, so i'll just write you up and send so as you can see it delivered so everything is working fine so i'll be ending this video here um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to